Hey everybody, I want to talk about the upcoming changes that Microsoft is making. Essentially, Microsoft is renaming Azure AD to Intra-ID. Now, if you've uh, worked with Azure AD for the past year or so, the, it's not really a surprise the term Intra-ID is coming into play. Microsoft has been using the term Azure AD, part of Intra-ID, for quite a while now. Uh, and it could be a surprise to you if this is the first time you're ever hearing that, but they have been uh, using that now for a while. But uh, Microsoft has officially decided to change the name from Azure AD to Intra ID. And I want to talk a little bit about how that's going to affect things and all that fun stuff. So Microsoft has put out a document here that uh, lets you know a few things. Number one, there's no interruption to uh, usage or service. Okay, they let you know the capabilities and everything that um, that we've had with Azure AD are going to be the same involving uh, Intra ID. Now, when will this take place? When is the change going to happen? In other words, when you go to portal.azure.com and all that, and you're looking at the Azure AD related stuff, what is it going to say? Well, the name is going to change again to Intra ID. The change is going to occur October 1st, 2023. So um, considering that as of the recording of this video, which is September 19th, 2023, this is coming pretty quick. The uh, subscriptions, as far as your licensing goes, Azure AD Free is going to change to Intra ID Free. Azure AD Premium 1 or P1 is now going to be called Intra ID P1. Premium 2 will be Intra ID uh, P2. Azure AD External Identities will now be referred to as Intra uh, External IDs. So identity. So not really much of a, a difference there. The, I don't think you're going to notice a lot of major changes. They are adding some new features here or there that we didn't have inside of just the standard Azure AD portal. But for the most part, this is simply just a name change. This is not anything uh, to, to really freak out about or get nervous about. Um, the icon, as you can see, is changing. So you, uh, you have their uh, older icons that they were using, and then you got the newer icon to represent Enter ID. Okay? Um, Azure AD Conditional Access will now be called Microsoft Intra Conditional Access. Azure AD Single Sign-On will now be called Microsoft Intra Single Sign-On. So you can see it's not really uh, too big of a deal as far as all that goes. They're, you know, they're really just changing the Azure AD part to uh, Intra. Okay? Um, so what names aren't changing, they tell you. Uh, so first off, you might know that on-premise, we've had Active Directory since the year 2000. So Windows Active Directory on-premise, that name is not changing, okay? Um, the, essentially, I think that's one of the big things they're trying to get across here is they're trying to distinguish between on-premise Active Directory versus Azure Active Directory. And definitely, I can say that there's been confusion over the years with people on, you know, what's the on-premise uh, version of Active Directory versus the, uh, the uh, cloud version of Active Directory being Azure AD. It, it gets confusing. And then, you know, you have Azure ADDS and all of that. That's uh, Azure's uh, Active Directory Domain Services. Okay, so we will, they will continue to have that name. Um, that is not changing, okay? That uh, on-premise Active Directory is going to stay the same, okay? So they're telling you correct terminology here, Active Directory, Windows Server, Active Directory, Active Directory, Federated Service. These are all on-premise related uh, services. Uh, ADAL, uh, Azure Active Directory Authentication Library, they do tell you that's deprecated. Uh, while existing apps that use ADAL, um, will continue to work. Microsoft is no longer basically releasing uh, updates for that. They want you to use the newer standards now, Microsoft Authentication Library, uh, all that. I would really stress over that right now. But anyway, you can kind of look through this list here. Um, PowerShell, you know, pretty much PowerShell it, for Azure AD, PowerShell Graph, they tell you this is deprecation on March 30th, 2024. They're using Microsoft Graph PowerShell now, um, so everything's kind of moving over to that. Essentially, getting rid of the term Azure AD is a big part of this. Uh, now, Azure AD Sync and Dirt Sync, it, they tell you these are not, these aren't supported and no longer work. These are older Sync solutions. So, if they tell you you're still using those, you need to move into 
the newer method, which was formerly known as Azure AD uh, uh, Connect. Now it's called Microsoft Intra Connect. So same same concept, different name essentially. Uh, so again, when is the name changing? They tell you uh, October 1st. Why is the name being changed? Again, this is trying to distinguish between on-premise Active Directory and the, uh, the cloud version. So that's sort of the idea there. Um, and let's see anything else there of importance. Some of the SKU names here, they tell you what the SKU names are gonna change. So these, again, these are licensing names, licensing SKUs. A lot of it's just removing the Azure Active Directory and putting Microsoft Intra ID in front of that. So nothing, nothing big there. Is Azure AD going away? No, only the name Azure AD is going away. Capabilities remain the same. Okay, so nothing really to stress out about there too much. All right, now, what about my courses? How is that going to affect my courses for you guys taking my courses? examlabpractice.com slash courses. If we take a look there at the various courses that I've got available, um, I want you to know I will be eventually uh, slowly but surely transitioning to the name. Be aware that there are hundreds and hundreds of hours of course material uh, where I could be mentioning the term Azure AD. So it's not going to be an instant change because you're talking about um, a lot of videos that I've got to update to uh, fix that. But I will, as time goes on, videos are continuously being updated and I will change that name. For now, what I will probably do when the time comes is I'm going to create a video That'll, that'll start in the beginning of my courses that let everybody know, hey, the name Azure AD is now Intra ID, and I'll start that, but slowly but surely I'll start transitioning uh, my courses to make sure it reflects the uh, the newest name. So, but, but it isn't really a big deal, it's just a name change. So instead of saying Azure AD, you're gonna see Intra ID there. So it isn't something to stress over, but I did wanna make this video and um, you know make sure that you were just aware of these changes okay the uh, the article that you just saw me looking at if you do a quick Google or Bing search uh, for the term for this uh, title here new name for Azure AD Active Directory you'll find this article and you can read about it yourself if you want to uh, dive a little deeper into that okay all right well that's it I hope you guys will give me a like and a subscribe I'm trying really really hard to uh, grow this channel so I can keep bringing free content and uh, I also do occasionally give my courses away free um, on here as a promotion. In fact, I got one of those going on right now. And the only way you can really know that I'm doing that is if you subscribe. So I really hope you'll do that, and I appreciate it. And um, I hope you'll you'll uh, you'll do that and give me a like and subscribe and continue on watching my videos. And I appreciate you guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>